Hi guys, I'm Daniel from phpfragments.com and in this video I will show you how you can check the uniqueness of the email address typed, the, typed by the user in this email field. So whenever user will type this, type email and move on to the next field, we will make an AJAX call and that AJAX call will actually check if the email address is unique or not and if the email address is not unique it will show an error message so as you can see i have already created the form so let's get to the code let me show you the files i have created for this simple project i have created this index and process.php file and i'm using bootstrap and jquery so let's open this folder in brackets or any text editor you want I have already opened it so as you can see I have not written any code in this process.php so as you can see I am using the bootstrap starter template and I am using a simple registration form so right in this email field we want to call a function whenever user moves on from this email field to the password field so we will use the on blur event for that and we will call a function called is unique and this function will take the current value of this email field so we will use this dot value this dot value will actually pass the current value of this email field to this function so let's go ahead and create this function this is actually a javascript function so we will create it here in the script tag so function is is unique and it will take an email email as a parameter now it, we will use the jquery to make the post request dollar dot post and we will be making the post request to this process.php so we'll type process.php and in these curly brackets we will pass the comma separated list of parameters in this case there is only one parameter which is email and email and we will also pass a callback function and that callback function will be called whenever the request will be completed and oops this data variable will be the data returned by this process.php file so if data returned by the process.php is not null or not empty what we want to do we want to create a pop-up message so we will use alert for that and this will say like this email is already in use so I think that's it for the JavaScript part so let's go ahead and uh, see the database which we will, we will be using we will be using this e-commerce database and we will use this customers table as you can see this email is already registered so let's go ahead and create the process.php which will actually handle this ajax request so first of all we will check if the uh, post request has been made so we will use the is set for that 
insert dollar underscore post and what was the name of the parameter I think it was email and if this parameter is set that means that the post request is made so if the post request is made we want to go ahead and connect to the database so we will create a mysqli object oops and this object will take four parameters the first one will be localhost the actually the host name so the host name for the database is localhost this will actually use this these parameters to connect with the database the second one will be the database user in my case the database user is root and the third one will be password which is also root and the last one will be the database name we are using e-commerce database so now we will save this value coming from the page into a variable called email dollar underscore post email now we will create our SQL query so SQL equals to the SQL query will be like select a static from and the, what was the name of the table uh, I think it was customers customers where customer underscore email equals to this email variable so we are saying that select the row all whole row from the customers table if the email is equal to the email variable which we are getting from our HTML file so we will execute this query and save result in a result variable oops <laughs> I don't know why I, I cannot type today so we will use the my sqli underscore query method and this will take two parameters the first one will be database connection which we will use to con execute the query the second one will be the query which is SQL in our case so now we will check if there is there are some rows returned by this query and if there is uh, there are some rows returned by the query that means that this email is already taken so we will use the result result num underscore rows greater than zero then echo this email is already in use uh, we will have to remove the this error message from here this error message will actually return by the process.php so we don't need it here so I think that's it let's check it out let's go to chrome and run it and if I type that email and go this email, email is already in use you can see that the code is working and if I type I change something here and now I go to the other field it is not giving the error message so our code is working fine so guys that's it for this video and I will see you in the next video